Hello and welcome to this short tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be navigating away from DAX slightly and going into Power Query, the ETL side of Power BI. We're going to transform our data by selecting that button and we're going to look at three really powerful tips. Commenting in applied steps within the advanced editor and using the if function within Power Query to create a custom column. So let's get started. So if we open up the advanced editor within our, our ribbon in Power Query, we can see that we can write a comment with the same syntax as DAX. So we can use our two forward strokes. Um, and I'm just gonna write a simple comment here. It's at the start of our M code. Now the M code in the advanced editor is just the language's interpretation of the applied steps that we take in Power Query. So I'm just gonna start this off for anyone who enters the advanced editor by telling them if they want to make changes, please contact me first. Now we could rename the applied steps to make them more specific. However, there's actually a better way we can do this because we can also add a comment within our applied step. So if we right click on this change type step, we can rename it to a, a more specific naming convention if we like. And we can also add a description. Now this is gonna form a comment within our advanced editor, but also within the user, face, user interface within the applied steps. So if we hover over the change shipping type now, we see our comment. Also, what's really interesting is that it automatically shows within the M code. Now we'd expect M code to appear here. This is what's running under the hood of the guided user interface, but it's really clever that the comments appear here too. So likewise, performing a similar exercise, let's see if when we type a comment here above the next step, we see it in the user interface and we do within the applied steps, we see that comment there. So that's a very clever functionality and something we can all be aware of to work more efficiently and co collaboratively. So what we can do now is add a custom column within Power Query and we can write an if statement, a logical if statement within here um, to create a new or custom column as the name would suggest. Now, we could use, uh, if we use a conditional column, we get a nicer user interface, but it's not nearly as flexible as the power we have within custom columns. Uh, and we'll see why as we go through this example. So again, the syntax is quite simple. Um, it's just slightly different within Power Query than other programming languages. So we can say if the tons shipped is greater than 199, so, you know, um, 200 or over, then we classify it as a large shipment in new column, else we can just say it's an average shipment. So, great, we're already seeing the power of this, and that works as expected. And the syntax is, is pretty intuitive. Now, we could add one more custom column. And this time, if you've used programming languages or not, we can, we, we're going to add what's called um, a Boolean operator, Boolean value, um, true or false. So we'll create a new column name and we will call this, as we see on the screen, home shipment. And we can write the formula again. But what we're going to do this time is we're going to say if the origin country and we'll move this down just so that we can we can compare it to our data above if the country of origin and we're looking for the uk is equal to and in quotation marks as it's a text value the uk has to be in double quotation marks then we'll write true else false now as this is a boolean um we don't actually, because we're not writing text, we don't need those quotation marks. But you can see how very quickly we're collaborating well, we're adding to our data set, and it's all very intuitive, um, and it's not time consuming at all, so we're really powering forward the efficiency.
Okay, so we'll go ahead and add these custom columns to our Power BI table, our visualization, and we'll see that everything works as expected. As usual, if you like this content or find it helpful, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.